Good afternoon. I'm Sheila Brummer with Siouxland Public Media News. Much of the state of Iowa is under a heat advisory, while parts of eastern Iowa are under an excessive heat warning. Officials tell Radio Iowa far northwest Iowa is in moderate risk, with a level of 4 out of 5 for severe weather. Part of the region is under a severe thunderstorm watch as well. An enhanced risk is at a level 3 out of 5 for the rest of Siouxland. The biggest threat could come from heavy thunderstorms and high winds. Authorities in northwest Iowa responded to two Fourth of July tragedies. The Sioux County Sheriff's Office identified the victim of a drowning that happened yesterday afternoon. According to a news release, 19-year-old Aldo Tomas de Leon, a Rock Valley, was swimming in a pond one mile north of town when he disappeared in the water. KCAU News reports dive teams from the region recovered the body of another drowning victim this morning in Calhoun County. The 25-year-old man was swimming yesterday afternoon when he went missing. His name wasn't released. But the Calhoun County Sheriff says he lived in the area and was spending the day at the beach with friends at Twin Lakes. And organizers of a medical marijuana legalization campaign in Nebraska say they're in danger of missing their signature goal to qualify for the November general election ballot. Nebraskans for Medical Marijuana says it still needs to gather thousands of signatures ahead of Thursday's submission deadline set by the state. The campaign suffered a major blow when one of its top donors died, forcing the organization to rely primarily on volunteers. For Siouxland Public Media News, I'm Sheila Brummer.